Where do I begin, guys? This is quite the jam-packed thing to talk about. So before I get into the topic of this video, I need to give some background. So as you all know, Jagex is planning on nerfing quite a bunch of different things so that it's more you know, quote-unquote balanced. And of course, the biggest thing is the blowpipe. So when they first suggested the nerfs, the numbers were pretty significant. But actually, those numbers are no longer relevant because they are pitching even less harsher numbers. Before we continue the video though, a quick word from our sponsors. If you're watching this video, you're probably a gamer. Let me introduce you to a very slick gaming browser called Opera GX. Opera GX is custom built for people who game, developed by the same people behind the slick Opera browser. Check out the GX Control tab on the left. It lets you monitor every tab that is running and see just exactly how much resources each tab is using. You can control how much each tab uses to maximize your performance. Opera GX has handy integrations on the left side, perfect for quickly browsing your Twitch or other social media like Discord and Twitter. This helps reduce clutter. GX is customizable. You can change how it looks, sounds, and feels on the easy setup panel on the right. I like mine ultraviolet. And finally, we have the GX Corner, which highlights all major game-related news coming up. Whether it's a good sale or a new game, you will not miss it. This browser is definitely a must-have for gamers, especially if you have like one monitor or something, because its ability to put all the essentials for gaming into one nice sleek browser is definitely worth downloading. After downloading Opera GX, let me know which features you like the most in the comments. We'd love to hear from you guys. So for example, if you're using rune darts after the nerf for the blowpipe, on most mobs, the DPS difference is only going to be about 10%, which is pretty fair, okay? It's only a 10%. And then if you're fighting like extremely high defense mobs, it might go up to like 20%. So here's the catch. Rune darts and dragon darts are not getting nerfed that severely. Even a higher defense mobs, the difference is only still like 10% or something like that, 15% maybe. Now, you can't say the same for adamant darts and lower. Adamant darts and lower, they're getting nerfed quite a bit harder. You can see as much as a 20 to 30% damage difference from this blowpipe today to the new blowpipe. And hence why I'm getting ready for this change. It's not that after the change, I'm going to be using the blowpipe differently in terms of like what things I kill with it. No, not that at all. It's actually about what type of ammunition I'm going to be using with the blowpipe. Because I normally use adamant darts for day-to-day -day stuff, even bossing, with this nerf though, the DPS difference is just a little bit too much for me. Like a 20% difference, it's definitely something I would like to avoid. And hence why I'm preparing for this eventual blowpipe nerf guys. I am stocking up on rune darts baby because I don't mind a 10% DPS difference, okay? I don't mind that at all. It's not not too bad. So that's the plan. I am going to train my smithing all the way to 89. I'm starting around like 80 or so, but luckily supply wise I'm good. Lots of raids and TOB has stocked me up on like a hundred thousand gold ores type of deal. And uh, the math shows that I'll definitely have enough for 89 smithing, which is the level required to make rune darts without boosting. So luckily for me, I can do so. And of course, to make rune darts, I need rune ores and coal. And luckily for me, most of PVMing has got me covered. I managed to accumulate 6,000 rune ore over all this PVMing on this account and enough coal to do the job. So, yep, I'm gonna spend 6,000 rune bars and turn them all into darts, which equates to 60,000 rune knight darts, approximately. That's gonna last quite a while, and just imagine, if I use up all these darts at PVM, I think I'll probably get some rune knight ore drops back, which will continue the cycle of, you know, funding the ammunition. So I think that is the plan. That is the plan, guys. And I guess for a lot of you guys, especially Iron Man, you definitely want to invest in getting 89 smithing at some point. Because the rune darts are known to be pretty important, more so than it is now. Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raid 1 Specialist account. 
Every 75 raids, I can go for one of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 soul raids. Please enjoy the series. There we go, 88 smithing. So, I got one more level to go to make rune darts. Uh, but before I uh, do any more gold, I'm going to actually go ahead and turn all of my rune knight aura, 6,000 of them, into the bars. I should be able to do them right now. I have uh, definitely enough coal. Alrighty, guys, we are halfway done with the rune knight bars. I'm getting 50 experience each. So, that's gonna leave me with a little bit of XP left that I can uh, do with gold bars. All right, like an hour and a half left. We're almost done. All right, boys, this is it. All the rune knight ore is done. It is done. And look at the XP left to the final level that I need to make them darts. This was definitely quite quite a workout, you know, in, in its own way. Like, finally, guys, 89 smithing. And so it begins, guys, the mass scale uh, rune dart making. Last time that I trained for dart making, I used the, what do you call it, the Dwarven Stouts. It gives you plus one boost, but it was super annoying because you would run out mid-production. So we don't have to deal with that this time. I'm actually at the proper level, you know. There's some things that you just can't boost for all the time, you know. So, all the bars are smithed now. And the last and final parts, the quickest part, but also the most click intensive part, is adding the feathers to all 60 uh, plus thousand of them. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this while I do agility. Because the marks is very necessary right now for the staminas, for raids and stuff. But yeah, that's the plan. Uh, over a hundred laps done at Relica thus far will help me get towards maybe already. Like it'd be sick if I could do some already courses towards the end. It'll be better marks per hour. But yeah, pretty good, pretty good. We managed to get a fletching level as well. All right, all the darts have been fletched and some arthritis has been induced. But yeah, we're finally done. That is crazy, man. I'm going to start using this right away. I only have like less than 2,000 adamant darts or something. And yeah, even before the nerf, the rune darts, of course, is already better than adamant darts. Uh, should be better by about one max hit approximately. But yeah, after the update, though, the rune darts are going to be somewhere between two to three max hits more than the adamant darts. So it's going to be massive. You can see your stat differences uh, if you switch out the darts. A lot of people don't notice that the darts themselves have their own stats that stack with the blowpipe. So yeah, you'll see that when you switch to different darts, your blowpipe stats actually get adjusted. Right now, it's about a 4 strength difference between the two darts. And after the update, it's going to be 10. What? No, please. No, water splash. Max mage. Dude, I have like a hundred mage bonus. Server? I don't, I don't know, man. Dudes! Oh my god, I was about to say, bro, that lag. Oh, damn, I got an onyx, though. It's been a little bit. Alright, well, at least that raid was good. I didn't make... Oh, I got a purple. Let's go. Yeah, it's, a, it's all good, man. I'll take the Charmin Ultra, dude. At least Agility and Vanguards are near each other. Oh yeah, this is really good. Fossa into Tecton into Fispula. Yeah, really nice. Another really easy uh, no prep layout. If you know how to do the bosses. Oof, that was crazy clutch. Oh my god. Oh shit, Where, where's the portal? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I might be dead. Ah, god damn, that was unfortunate, so. Alright, here we go, boys. <laughs> Another arcane, dude. I think last last purple was an arcane. And uh, this uh, purple was another Shaman Ultra. Just the right amount of food. Damn, 56. That might be my max hit right now. 56. Honestly, because the room is so easy and chill nowadays, I might just go for a raid like this. Like, this is a naturally fast layout, you know? 
missing a Jody room, but honestly, it's like a 1k point difference, and I save a lot of time not scouting. And like the entire raid layout is extremely fast. Ooh, 30,000 points, I guess, for no agility raid. That's still pretty good. And the time is nice too, it's a good time. So yeah, definitely worth it. I guess it doesn't always need an agility room, I suppose. Especially now. Poggies? What did I just do? Oh, it's over! Ah, shit, it was such a good raid. Bye bye, guys. Man, I just charged this thing recently too. Fuck. Like 13 minutes down the drain. Oh, it's over. Oh, so unlucky. Wait, maybe I can still do this. All right, come on. Waiting for this thing to go away. Oh, the same. Sometimes you gotta be patient and not force your hand, you know? Ah, oh, nothing. But it's okay because there we go. 1200 KC has been reached. So that means I can go for my next. Humble upgrade, which is going to be the chain skirt. So, a, a small, modest upgrade, but it's gonna feel good, you know? It's gonna feel good at least. So, yeah, it's time to work on some Armadale, but before that, I need to stock up on some more Dragon Bolts because I'm not doing the chin method. I'm gonna be stocking up some Dragon Bolts for the uh, no chin method. Back at it again. So. And then after that, what's next? At 1275, we're gonna go for um, the Ferocious Gloves. That's a pretty strong upgrade. Nice, dude. The Blood Spawn connected the other guy that I uh, wasn't able to freeze into the group. Triple kill! Oh, that was so sick. You guys saw that. Three way. I've peaked. I can quit this game now, honestly. Oh, nice. Good shit, yo. Just this shit completed, bro. Easy, dude. That's awesome, man. That's a pog, man. Congrats to my boy, Kyle. Luckily, it did not lag. Oh, shit. I got a purple. Let's go, man. It's been a minute. Oh. oh. God dang it, Defender. All right. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So I've used the scythe enough times at this point in Raids 1 and 2, I kind of figure out what my alley costs are in terms of blood runes. So at TOB, it's about a thousand blood runes an hour. And at Raids 1, it's about probably 200 to 300 an hour. So it's not too bad because I can usually make like 3,000 blood runes a day. So easy upkeep right now. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is wild. So many crabs. Nice. Got ourselves another purple chest. And it is not the same staff, guys. Dang. Yeah, we're approximately one and a half times dry now for the same staff. Ooh, nice. 85 room crafting. Hell yeah. What? Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> nice. Finally got a thousand white berries and limber roots. Took a while. I got a lot of potion making I gotta do for various things. So first things first, quorum and cadentines. I need to clean these real quick. Along with aventos. But yeah, the quorums and cadentines are gonna be for super combats. So I am running low, low. So I gotta work on that. And also we got aventos. Luckily for me, I'm not exactly out of money because I have a lot of alcohols. This is like approximately 13 mil as I've examined them already. Finally, after a week of just getting secondaries here and there, I'm kind of restart back up on stuff. <laughs> I think it'll last me a while, I hope. 500 brewers, 3 doses unfortunately. Alright, so all the money that I spent alking, uh, the leftover runes, <laughs> I'm gonna save 100k for now. Uh, yeah, this is good for now. Mainly just for the trident, of course. Man, this thing just uses up charges so much, I cannot afford to uh, run out of charges middle, like last time again. But yeah. 
Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.